Good evening everyone and welcome to Mystery Monday live on Facebook and hi if you're catching the replay here or on YouTube. Um, thank you so much for joining me tonight. My name is Lucia Byzantine and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Melbourne, Australia. Um, so just a couple of things. Firstly, our Last Chance products are still available. Um, some of them are selling out, so if there's anything that you're wanting from the um, mini catalogue, um, please check online and see what is still available. Um, another thing, there will be another little announcement later on. If you're into designer series papers, just stay tuned because I will have something to um, tell you next time I'm with you. Um, what I'm going to do tonight is mix a little bit of the old with the new. So the old that I'm going to use are products from Snailed It. So this little guy here. And I will use some of the papers as well. So I've got some of the little bits, elements all cut out here already as well. So that you don't have to watch me cut those out. So that's the old. The new that we are going to be using is the, uh, now let me get it, Give It A World Dies. And the Give It A World Dies actually make a spinner card, um, which will be quite exciting. So it'll be interesting to see how that actually, um, be interesting to see how we can work it all out to, um, to get it to work doesn't make sense but yes <laughs> so anyway what I have done here is I have just got my regular card base so I've got that which is 14.85 this way by 21 and I've scored it at the 10 and a half so I will just fold that and score it And that I have used um, Bermuda Bay. And then I have cut out, uh, well, I've got two bits of paper. They're almost like a mound. So 14.35 by 10 centimeters. One of them I will use as an insert for inside of the card. But the other one I am actually going to use for the spinner section for inside the card. And then I've got some of the designer series paper, which I'm going to use as the front of my card. So I'll have the front of my card and I'll have the spinner underneath and then we'll decorate the front of the card as well. Now, what I really liked about these dies is there's such a variety, which is fantastic. So you've actually got the front of your spinner card and this piece here will be the little bit that goes inside that you can spin around. So you're looking at that kind of thing. That will go under that. And then you actually have the bits that you are going to stamp inside of where you'll see the spinner. So you've either got this little shape here, which is like a fan. You've got a heart and you have a circle. Now, the reason why they have these little bits on the ends of them is so you can line it all up. So when you've cut it out, you line it up with your circle there. So then your spinner will be spinning in the right place and you'll be able to see it through the circle. But I can sort of explain as we're going through and um, you're actually watching how it's done. But the other things in this, which I really love, is you get the clouds, you do get some stars and there are some hearts as well, which is great. Oh, hang on. And there was another shape as well. Sorry. So that's another hole that you can use for stamping in and this is actually the right size to fit around your circle as well so it gives you a nice scalloped edge so there's all sorts of things here so it's quite a good little quite a good little design uh, and you get heaps of use out of it so yes you can make the spinner cards with it but there are also multiple things multiple cards you'd be able to make out of it as well um, which is handy because it's nice to get a die that you can use in um, lots of different ways as well 
I might just pull those out of the way. I'll just show you what we have to cut out first as well. Hi Joan, how are you? Hope you're well. So firstly what I'm going to do is cut out the first element of our card. And I will just bring in my big shot. So again, when we're cutting out um, dies, we're using the base number one, plate number two, and we've got two of our number threes as well. So number three, and then number three again. So I am going to start putting it in there. Now, when we do use these rectangular dies, and the large dies especially, um, it is easier if you put them through on an angle because then you're not getting that whole harsh line that's going through at one time. And I've just put my handle on the wrong side, but that's okay. We'll wind it this way. Sorry, that's my bowl on my table getting knocked every time I'm going around here. <laughs> Is our first piece that we've cut out. So what we then need to do is decide what shape we're going to use for our hole. So I have decided I'm going to use this fan like one and what I might do is just use a little bit of washi tape but what I'm going to do as well, you see how there's a hole here, I'm actually going to line up the hole on my die with the hole on my um, designer series paper there and just leave that there so it holds it in place whilst I do cut that as well. So I'm going to bring my big shot up again. Big shot, I'm sorry, my cut and emboss machine. I will put the handle the right way this time though. Now this one, it doesn't matter what um, way it goes through because it's circular, it's fine. Hi Mandy, I'm well today, how are you? So we're just doing a, um, a spinner card today. So that's my little piece I've cut out of it. And just carefully take that washi tape off. Okay, so that's our first little piece done. Okay of that little piece but now what we also need is I'm going to put my other bit of white there I do need the actual spinner and what I'm also going to use on this card is the clouds okay so we will take all the clouds off here and we will use those so I'm just going to pop those over there as well. Might as well just cut them all out at the one time because then we don't have to um, get the cut and emboss machine out any more times than we have to. So bring that back in. Pop him on. Just make sure that everything is on because I did just move a little then that's fine and pop that through hi rails how are you hope you're well now all of these should be cut out They are lovely. So these bits are the basis for our card. Okay, so we've got our card base. We have our spinner, which is what's going to sit behind and spin. What we need though is something to hold that together. Now Stamping Up do have this year in the new catalogue some brads and the brads are 
Um, I've not written it down. Oh, yes, I have. The brads are on page 143, and they're 12.25. I'm really sorry, I don't have any at the moment. Ours that we sell for stamping up are black and white. Um, the little one I'm using today is just an one that I've had lying around but like I said the breads from stamping up will be perfect because they're the right um, color so what that's going to do is once we stuck our brad in so sorry I will explain what I did there so brad is like a split pin so it's just got the two little bits that can split apart so when you pop it in pop it in from the front through the next hole so it's gone through both of them and then at the back you just spread the two little pins okay don't do it too tight because you still want it to spin okay so that's how that will go together and then it'll get popped on here this will go on dimensionals and you'll be able to spin your card from here so that's briefly how it works but what we're going to do is decorate it first as well so I don't know whether you can see on that, but that die has left a little bit of an impression, which is actually really good because what you want to do is in each of these three sections is actually stamp something or have something so that when you're spinning it around, you've got something to see. So let us see what we're going to do. So I think for one of them, I'll bring in my stamp set. For one of them I've got the, you've snailed it, so I think I might stamp that on because it's a nice size and if I bring this back in that gives you a good idea of the size that you want it because you don't want it to be any bigger than that because otherwise you won't see it through the hole, okay? So I have a block, pop him on and I will use my Bermuda Bay. And just make sure he's inked up nicely. And the good thing about this too, probably is being straight isn't a um, a really important thing either because um, because it's spinning, it will be churning. Um, so if it is a little bit crooked, it's not um, it's not too detrimental then either. So we'll pop him there. And we might, I'm just going to bring in my elements I've got here. We might even just stick a little heart there as well. Okay, so I'm just going to use my um, multi-purpose adhesive as well. Um, again, stamping up and um, that is $7.00. Now, don't use too much because you don't want it to get too oozy. And um, spread everywhere. So then I'm just going to put it here so that you're going to be able to see it as that card spins around. So that's one. What else have we got here? Let's take them out. Oh, this little guy. I do like this little guy. So I think I'm going to stick him there as well. Again, just try and spread that glue out a little bit. Looks a bit cheeky, this person, this little snail. He's not a person at all. Now you do want to make sure they're all glued down quite well because as they're spinning, you don't want it to get caught on the, um, the hole that you've got there. Sorry, I'll just close this up so it doesn't, don't put anything in it. And I do have a little hello. So we might put that little hello there as well. So in saying that, don't, on here, don't put anything on dimensionals or anything raised, because um, I don't think that would be very successful. Um, as in your spinner then wouldn't um, work too well, I wouldn't think. Okay, and there's your hello. So we'll do this again and put our little brad 
through there. I'm just going to pop it through the hole at the back there as well and just spread those little pins. So now you've got that kind of thing. And you can put anything in there. You can put sentiments, you can stamp on it. Like it is just limitless what you could do with that. So what I am now going to do is put a whole heap of dimensionals behind this because you do want it to sit up because you need to give the spinner enough room to spin. If you stuck that straight down, it would then be really hard to get to this little piece here to spin. So if you have plenty of dimensionals behind. Now I'm not sure whether the bigger dimensionals are any thicker at all, but I do like the big dimensionals on this one. I'm usually a mini dimensional fan, um, but for this I have been using the large ones, I must admit. been quite generous just make sure that the dimensionals dimensionals aren't getting in the way of the, um, the, the spinning mechanism there sorry that was a bit loud I'm just going to cut some of these so I can put some along here as well so that they're kind of everywhere more half ones just down here as well and that one there there you go and make sure they're all stuck down nicely and I'll just take the backs off them so like I said, with this, the good thing is you could make that little hole any shape, well, any shape. There are four different shapes that actually come with the die. Um, so you've got plenty to choose from. Um, this is quite a cute kitty card, but you could um, have it a lot more adult. So... Pop that down. And once that's down, that gives that enough room then to spin. Okay, so then that's probably a little crooked, that's okay. So then what I was going to do was just stick some um, other little elements just to pretty up the front of the card as well. So I was thinking of some mushrooms. Oh, there you go. I didn't realise the dimensionals in the kits were thicker. Yeah, I always, I don't know why. I think that the, 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 the larger dimensionals just, um, they've just got a bit more body. So I think for something like this, they're better. Or the other thing that you could use for this too, instead of the, um, the large dimensionals, uh, the foam adhesive strips would be another great thing too. So, I mean, they've got a little bit of um, height to them too. And because it's just thin, you could actually pop that almost all the way round as well. So that would be another good product to use um, to put round your spinner card also. So now we're at the front of the card now, so it doesn't really matter whether we've got um, dimension behind things or not, because it's not going to um, hurt anything now. a few behind him and I might just sit him on this side of our card and then put our mushrooms on the right So when you're adhering all your elements on, just try and make sure that they're not sticking 
out further than your card because you might just find it a little bit difficult then to get it into um, the envelope. But as long as they're staying within the boundaries of your card base, you're fine. So and all of these elements are actually cut from the designer series paper. So there were no dies for the mushrooms. I have just um, fussy cut them all, which I do enjoy doing. I think I actually have cut up all my um, snail mail designer series paper and I have nearly used it all. I don't think I have too much left at all now. Okay. And another one there. So then for the clouds, I'm actually going to use the clouds to mask my little um, Brad as well. So I will hide him under that. Now, it, because it's the right colour, it probably really wouldn't have mattered too much whether you saw it or not. But just to hide all our workings, I think it would be nice. Like I said, just to position that cloud, just so it goes over that brad, so it's not um, it's not sticking out like a sore thumb then. And I'll just pop the other two clouds on the top. So try not to have them, I'm not putting the other way, try not to have them going into the hole that you've made too far, into this bit, because then it will cover what's coming round. But if you sort of have it off to the sides a bit, I think you're fine then. And it depends what you've stamped on your little spinner as well, I suppose, too. So that is our little spinner completed. And like I said, I, I haven't made any others. I'm really sorry tonight to show you, but I will make some more and I will put them up um, in the photos as well afterwards um, just to show you what else you can do um, with this gorgeous set of dies. The other thing that is in the dies, which I didn't use, um, is a little arrow. Sorry, I've just got a card here that I had cased from someone and I can't remember who, sorry. But there is this little arrow here so then people know that it is a little spinner and they can just spin that round. So this is another little one and this is using the um, Churchill Friends. It is a great kids card. You know what? I think my boys would like it as well, Megan. And my boys are 16 and 18. And I don't think they would mind getting a spinner card. I think they would think it was quite cute, actually. They would have a little laugh at it. <laughs> but so they're two different little ones. And like I said, I will make up some more. Because I do think it is going to be a really fun die to use. And especially because there are so many other little elements in it too. Um, there is, and I can't remember what the name of the set is, but there is a set um, with a little space person, uh, a little kitty set, which they've used the stars and everything in, um, in the catalogue as well. And if I can just quickly get that up for you, because that will give you another little idea, here we go, with what you can do with it too. So that's just straight from the catalogue, but that's using exactly the same little fan shape that I used as well. But they've used some of the stars and then they've used all of these little elements down here. The little rocket ship, the planets and the little doggy to put inside of their spinner. So like I said, the possibilities would be endless. So I mean, you could do all sorts of things with it. 
So that's it for our cards tonight. And like I said, I will pop them up so that you can have a look. Uh, I do have my hostess code still running for the rest of the month. So um, if you do place an order, please use the hostess code and you go into the draw for a prize. Um, the other thing is I do have my um, card class coming up as well. Um, so if anyone is interested in that, and for that we are using, this is one of the cards that we will be making, we are using the um, Churchill Friends. Um, so you will be able to get to make a spinner card as well in um, our class too. So this is an online class and it will be on Friday the 9th of July. And there are a few of the cards. They are the cards that we're making. So if you're interested in that, just um, drop me a little line as well and um, I can pop your name down for that as well. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, sorry, and the class is, um, is in July, so it's the 9th of July. Um, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing how to make and use the spinner dies. Um, sorry, it is actually called... Um, Give it a whirl is the name of the die. So if you're looking for that, that is on page 163 of the catalogue and it is $68. So thank you very much for watching, much appreciated and I will catch you all next week. Have a great week. Thanks. Bye.